The Blue Book is an indispensable resource for steelwork designers. It enables them to select members and deal with common design situations found in all areas of construction quickly and easily. The new edition provides resistances which are in accordance with the Euro code, and that makes the Blue Book even more important. It now comes in both a print and an electronic version. You can buy the book from the BCSA or SCI bookshops online. All BCSA and SCI members can download a PDF version via this website. An interactive blue book is also freely available from the Tata Steel Construction website. So how does the blue book work? It's split into different coloured sections. White, yellow, blue, pink and green pages. Each offers different information. The white pages are the explanatory notes, which explain how resistances are calculated and cross-reference Eurocode clauses. The yellow pages give you all the section properties for all orthodox sections, including beams, columns, ASB, angles and hollow section. Designers might use these pages to find the physical dimensions of sections or look up section properties for use in design calculations. Of course, for the most common design tasks, there's no need to do calculations manually, because the resistances have been calculated already, and you'll find them in the pink and green pages. The pink pages provide member resistances for grade S275 steel and cover such things as compression, tension, bending, shear and web resistance. The green pages provide member resistances for grade S355 steel, which tends to be the grade of steel commonly used in the UK. These green pages offer the same scope as the pink ones, but they also give you the resistances of hollow section tubes in S355 steel. The commonly available circular, square, elliptical and rectangular hollow sections are covered in both hot finished and cold formed material. All these resistance tables have been prepared to make your life as easy as possible by providing member resistances in a simple lookup format. The calculated resistances follow the Eurocode provisions and accommodate the influence of the UK National Annex. You can rely on them to extract a member resistance without doing intermediate calculations. So, for example, if you want to select an appropriate compression member, it's a simple matter of selecting the member type then the appropriate buckling length, and choosing a section that provides a resistance greater than the design effects. For members in compression, there are three values provided, the major axis flexural resistance, the minor axis flexural resistance, and the torsional buckling resistance. In this example, where the ultimate axial compression on a universal column section is 1400 kN and the column has a buckling length of 4 meters then a suitable section would be a 203 by 203 by 60 universal column, which provides a resistance of 2290 kN in the major axis, 1450 kN in the minor axis, and a torsional buckling resistance of 2010 kN. If you want to choose a hot finished square hollow section, then a 150 by 150 by 10 section would be satisfactory. The flexural resistance is 1400 kN, which is of course the same in both axes. Hollow sections don't suffer from torsional buckling, so no resistances are given. Often, members have different buckling lengths about each axis, and the tables may be used to select a member that provides the appropriate resistance in both major and minor axes. Another common design case is that of an unrestrained beam. The resistance of an unrestrained beam depends on the buckling length between restraints and also the shape of the bending moment diagram the shape of which is accounted for using the C1 factor, and the blue book gives resistances for various standard C1 values. A C1 value of 1.13 is appropriate for the very common case of a uniformly distributed load on a pin-ended member. For a given buckling length and C1 value, a beam is selected to provide a larger lateral torsion buckling resistance than the applied moment. If an unrestrained beam is 6 meters long, and subject to an ultimate UDL of 70 kN per meter, the maximum bending moment is 315 kN meters. A suitable beam is therefore 457 by 191 by 89 in S355 steel, 
which with a C1 factor of 1.13 provides a resistance of 357 kN On the left hand side of the table you'll find the classification of the member in pure bending as well as the local bending resistance. Notice that here on the right hand side of the tables there is the second moment of area which allows you to calculate the deflection very quickly. When you're designing beams the shear resistance is also important. Later in the member resistance tables, the ultimate shear resistances are provided. In this case, the shear resistance of a 457 by 191 by 89 in S355 steel is 1030 kilonewtons, which is more than the applied shear of 210 kilonewtons. There are a number of other useful tables of resistance, including members in tension, tables to assist when verifying members subject to combined axial load and bending, and tables to calculate the resistance of a member under a concentrated load. Resistance tables for hollow sections are limited to S355 since this is the grade of steel readily available for hollow sections in the UK. At the end of the pink and green pages there are tables of bolt resistances and weld resistances. The tables of bolt resistance include ordinary bolts, countersunk bolts and preloaded assemblies. For ordinary bolts the shear and tension resistances are listed, as are the bearing resistances for a range of edge and end distances. The most common bolt in the UK is an M20 grade 8.8, .8, which has a shear resistance of 94.1 kN and a tension resistance of 141 kN. There are two tables of bearing resistance for different bolt layouts and different material thickness. One covers typical bolt layouts and the second table, which has slightly wider spacing, gives you larger resistances in bearing. So if we use the first table with typical dimensions, the bearing resistance in 10mm thick S275 material is 84.2 kN. Welds are an equally important component in connection design with tabulated resistance given in the blue book. 6mm or 8mm leg length fillet welds are very commonly used sizes. The resistances for a 6mm fillet weld is given as 0.94 kN per millimetre for a longitudinal weld and 1.15 kN per millimetre for a transverse weld. As you can see the blue book really is an important guide for steelwork designers and has been for many years. You can use it to rapidly select members and it covers all the common design situations normally found in construction. It makes your life easier and your work more efficient.